वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्लॉक चेन एंड द क्रिप्टो करेंसीज सो वी डिस्कस वट इज द लेमन डेफिनेशन एंड द टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक चेन इन द लास्ट वीडियो देन वी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू ईच एंड एवरी टर्म which is part of that particular blockchain definition so that uh, you can understand what is the blockchain technology means and you will get the clear picture or the understanding of this particular blockchain technology now in this particular video we are going to discuss what is the generic structure of the block okay that is very very important because since the beginning of this particular uh, course we are simply discussing it is a blockchain 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 but what is actually uh, what is actually stored in the blockchain okay how the link between the different blocks is maintained okay that part we are going to discuss and what are the different type of information which is stored in this particular block we are going to discuss as a part of this particular video now let us start with the generic structure of this particular block as you can see on this particular uh, in this particular video you can see a, a simple block where uh, which is logically divided into two parts you can see where there is a block header you can see there is a block header and it is a block body so means the bo block is divided into two parts block header and the block body now in block header you can see pointer to the previous blocks hash it means what each and every block in a blockchain are linked with each other linked with each other so whenever new block is created in a blockchain network in a blockchain network then pointer to previous blocks hash or pointer to earlier block hash is stored at this particular point now you can see their pointer to previous block hash means the address of the earlier block or the previous block is stored in a newly created block that is your pointer to previous block hash so that we can keep the track of different blocks which are connected together okay but if this is the first block created in a blockchain network then it will not have that pointer to previous blocks hash okay and that block is called as a genesis block genesis block means it is the it is the first block it is the first block in that particular blockchain network and whenever you are creating the blockchain network blockchain network it is compulsory to create that particular block manually okay and it is the very first block in that particular network so not necessary to store any address of the previous block because that is the very first block in that particular network so that is called as the genesis block now the next component uh, you can see uh, the information which is stored in that block header is called as a nonce so what is a nonce now nonce is what nonce is what it is a number nonce is what it is a number nonce is any random pseudo random number which is generated and it is used in number of cryptographic algorithms okay as we dis as we studied uh, in a information security uh, we discuss what is a nonce it is a number okay it is a random pseudo random number uh, which is used for the unique identification of that particular transaction also we have seen this in a information security course okay that is what the nonce so whenever uh, we use that kind of a nonce so uh, what is the use of this particular nonce so it is uh, it help us to uh, provide the authentication and encryption okay and it it help us to avoid the replication type of a attack so that is what the benefit of using this nonce as a part of that particular blockchain now the next one is what time stamps time stamp means at what time that transaction is recorded or confirmed that information is recorded in that particular block that is what the time stamp next one is what merkley merkley root so what is that merkley root so merkley root is what it is hash okay merkley root indicates the hash of all the 
nodes in the mercury tree there is a concept of mercury tree okay so mercury root is responsible for storing the hash of all the nodes in that particular mercury tree means it stores the references of all the nodes in that particular tree so here we are storing the reference of all the blocks in that particular network using the concept of mercury root okay that part uh, we are going to discuss uh, in detail in a subsequent session but as a as a part of this particular discussion only just understand it is going to store the hash hashes of all the nodes in that particular mercury tree so this is all about the block header of the blockchain now the next one is what block body it has a list of transaction what i said so whenever the information is exchanged in between the different nodes okay means values are uh, exchanged between the different nodes in that particular blockchain network that is treated as a transaction okay and here you can see the list of transactions which are recorded uh, sorry which are confirmed okay confirmed uh, by the uh, using the consensus algorithm in that particular network so this is very very important understanding of the generic structure of the block so whenever we are discussing about the block it has header part body part header part has pointer to previous hash nonce timestamp mercury root and the body part has core list of transaction okay so now let us move ahead now here you can see generic structure of the block let us continue with this now here you can see the previous hash now you can see transactions and other data uh, obviously it is what it is a header part and the body part now what is written it is a previous hash now you can see there previous hash okay it is a genesis block see means when previous hash value is null at this particular block because this is a genesis block and this is the very first block in that particular network so there is no uh, means that particular block is uh, not linked anywhere in the network okay because this is the very first block which is created by the administrator uh, uh, block uh, by the that particular uh, administrator when the blockchain network is first time created okay but it has the transaction and other information now uh, you can see that there is a one more block that is called as a trans another block now you can see transaction and other data as i said is there and now you can see there is a blue color arrow which is going from the middle block to the genesis block can you see all of you so there is the arrow which is running from the previous hash to the genesis block it means there is a link between the genesis block and the next block which is created in that particular network then third block is also created now you can see there the, the third block is also created in that particular network again the link is formed between the third block in a blockchain and the second one okay this is how the blocks are blocks blocks are created and the chain is formed between the different blocks and it becomes your blockchain where we are storing all the transaction data and the other type of information in this so this is the generic structure of the blockchain <coughs> now wh what are the different elements of this generic blockchain in addition to this address okay so each and every node in that particular network is identified using the address and whenever the information is exchanged or the transaction is executed in that particular network the values are transferred from one address to the another address in that particular blockchain network so that is what the address block is what we have already discussed what is the block it has a header part and the data header part and the body part also where we are going to store lots of information along with the transaction information address information hash information okay uh, then uh, time stamp uh, and the uh, nonce all this information is stored in the block again some other components of a generic blockchain is what p2p network it is what the peer to peer network as we uh, discussed earlier also it is a blockchain network is the peer to peer network where all the nodes are capable of sending and receiving the uh, messages to each other without any intermediaries 
okay uh, then next one is what scripting and programming languages scripting language or the programming language uh, it is called as a smart contract okay uh, the the we are using the scripting and programming language for writing the smart contracts smart contracts are used for uh, writing the business logic okay business logic uh, here then virtual machine again it is an extension of that particular uh, uh, scripting uh, language where we are using this particular virtual machine for executing the but uh, different transactions then next one is state machine means whenever the transaction is uh, created executed updated confirm the state of that particular node it changes uh, changes so that is defined by the state machine means our initial state to the final state okay when transaction is created it is in an initial state when the transaction is confirmed and recorded the nodes uh, uh, nodes are in a final state so that uh, particular uh, state machine now there is a node as i said it is peer to peer network where nodes are involved computers are involved in that particular network so we are referring that as a nodes and the nodes itself are responsible for sending and receiving the information in the form of transactions and as i said the smart contracts are very very important the smart contracts are used to uh, define the business logic as per the requirements of the business but the smart contract is not compulsory in all type of a blockchain okay so this is very important smart contracts are there no problem and we can write the different types of business logic using a smart contract but it is not compulsory in every type of a blockchain okay so this is uh, all about the generic structure of the block what are the different components of the block okay then different elements of that particular generic blockchain so this is very very important topic so now uh, we'll stop here and we'll meet again in the uh, next video with the new concept thank you